What is a context-free grammar? So you've already started seeing grammar, so I'm going to skip that part. But the context-free part, we actually had to break up the grammar into several parts. We literally have a left-hand side, a right-hand side, and then the meta symbol. And that meta symbol is literally the arrow that you see in between here. So in a context-free grammar, and by the way, there's other grammars that are out there, but in a context-free one, the left-hand side has non-terminal values in it. So you'll notice there's a difference between the uppercase letters and the lowercase letters. The lowercase letters are terminal. They can't reduce into anything else. That's it. It's done. Voila. The uppercase letters in this particular grammar are non-terminals. And notice they're all listed on the left-hand side. Every single one of them happens to be listed on the left-hand side. Whereas you can have a mix. Notice I said nothing about the right-hand side. The right-hand side can have a mix of anything that it wants, of terminals and non-terminals, as you see here. It's just the left-hand side of the meta symbol can't have any mix of that. That's the difference between a context-free and some other grammars that are out there. So there are other ways of producing this type of scenario in a grammar. It's called a context-free grammar, which we just did. There's a Bacchus Nower form, which I'll maybe show you a little bit later. But there are other forms of representing gra uh, grammars. This is a very popular one, and this is one I'm going to be using for most of the time that we have together in this course. I almost forgot one item here. At the very top, you're going to see that S. Usually, in a context-free grammar, S means start. Whatever it happens to be that first production at the very, very top is usually what we start off from. So just be very careful when you see that M at the very top. That's usually what we start off from. Um, I'll tell you if you don't, but to be very honest with you, I think every one of my examples has that. But so that very first production is very, very important. 